Unemployment, huge story, of course, all across the country, but particularly in New Bedford, Fall River. Right. Answers? Yours? Well, well, yeah. What? Well, certainly it's not a second stimulus uh, because that's the first one hasn't worked. And uh, you have the tax cuts that are about to expire. You need to keep those in play. And you also need to provide targeted tax breaks for industries, for example, the fishing industries and, and the ancillary industries to ensure that we can continue to provide the opportunity to have jobs, first of all. But by raising taxes and putting more regulations in play uh, is not appropriate. If you remember 1963, JFK uh, said, uh, you know, across the board tax cuts for individuals and businesses will create more jobs and more jobs and more investment. And that's what we need to do right now. We need to look at these industries, the targeted areas, and, and provide the resources so they can function and create jobs. Unemployment, a huge problem throughout the country, of course, but specifically in Fall River and New Bedford, some of the highest numbers, not just in Massachusetts, but nationally. What would you do? What would Senator Coakley do specifically to deal with that, to create jobs. We know that Massachusetts had some good news, relatively speaking, around unemployment rate. But I know, particularly having grown up in the western part of the state, and as Attorney General, I focused on our neighborhoods and our regions outside of Boston, that employment number is much tougher when you get to Fall River and to New Bedford. Um, and when the recession hits outside Boston, it hits harder, it's harder to come out of it. There are several things we need to do. We talked about the South Coast Railway, but we also need to get money flowing to small businesses. We need to provide for the kinds of workforce training for people who are out of work, who want to come back to the uh, uh, workforce, uh, whether they've been out as young mothers or their industries have changed. And I think it's really important that a new U.S. senator works with our electeds and the for-profit for section to figure out where we do that. Where can federal dollars be most helpful if we were to do a stimulus to? And how do you jumpstart this economy? I've how do you? I, I think you have to do all of those things. There's no magic bullet to this. That's why uh, we are in this mess, because there's been no leadership around taking ownership. Of, I'm the one in, who's gone after the big banks and mortgage companies who are foreclosing on people who should be staying in their homes. That's wrong. We need leadership at the national level to get people to stay in their homes and modify those mortgages. We need to get federal dollars where they will do the most help. And we need to work in getting money flowing from the credit unions and banks to small businesses. I've heard around during this campaign people are out of work. I've heard from small businesses who said we could employ people if we could free up credit. So it's about time that we have some leadership that will say we care about the people who are out of work, the communities like Fall River and New Bedford um, that are suffering from this recession, particularly when those who created this economic recession seem to be getting government money, and although the Dow Jones is going up, we're still hurting on Main Street. Unemployment, a huge problem across the country, of course, but especially so in Fall River and New Bedford and the neighboring towns. Solutions? Well, I think the solution is to uh, if you go to my website at stevepelica.com, I outline a jobs plan for Massachusetts, and those jobs would extend down to that area. I think South Coast is part of it. Uh, part of it is taking advantage of the people and the, and the spaces we have down there as we expand into high tech and, and, and life sciences. We can have that down in New Bedford as well. What makes that not just so much talk? How can that become real, in other words? Well, my plan is very real. I think it would start out with developing these centers of excellence. And we have it on the site one in Alston right now. If we develop that center, we can farm out the manufacturing and the processes to outlying communities, and New Bedford would be one of those. Unemployment, obviously a huge story and problem for the, for the country, not just for Massachusetts. But in Massachusetts, particularly uh, hard hit are, of course, New Bedford and Fall River. What would Senator Casey do to create jobs? Mm -hmm. Well, I've prioritized this, Sean. You know, in the first televised debate, we had the only one so far. We were all asked, do we need a second stimulus? I was the only candidate who said yes, and then I had a plan for it. I want to be the job senator. Here's what I would do. First of all, I would put forward a new jobs tax hiring credit. So for any business that hires somebody uh, that isn't working now, they would get a 15 percent tax credit for the first year and a 10 percent tax credit for the second year on that new employee. If it's a small business, it would be 15 percent for both years. Second thing I would do is invest in our small businesses. The vast majority of jobs in this country get created by small businesses, especially in a time of recession like this where the big companies are shedding jobs just to get their costs down. Here's what I'd do. I would allow every small business entrepreneur or small business owner to write off $50,000 in any investment they make in their business right away. Secondly, 
I would accelerate depreciation for any depreciable asset, plants, equipments, computers, etc., 50% in year one as opposed to over four years. Third, I would continue to suspend this, the fees of the Small Business Administration and get credit flowing again. Uh, uh, fourth, I would invest in the Edward M. Kennedy Serve America Act, a law that I played a leadership role in helping to get passed. Uh, it will be 250,000 service jobs across the country and as well as in Massachusetts. And I would accelerate that so that it would be fully implemented over two years. That would provide good service jobs for both young people graduating from college as well as older Americans who want to do things like Experience Corps. Uh, on top of that, just last week I pro proposed two more ideas. One is I think we need a new weatherization commitment, uh, the Home Star uh, legislation that would encourage both construction workers uh, to get hired again. The construction industry in particular has been suffering in this economy. Uh, and that would put them back to work as well as have uh, increased energy efficiency. So I would do that. Uh, we also got to get universal health care done. I'm a reliable 60th vote because that's crushing our small businesses as well as our large companies, the exploding uh, cost of health care. And we need to get the climate change legislation done. That will bring in millions of new clean energy high-tech jobs uh, as well as uh, reduce uh, the impact on the environment. So I have a comprehensive jobs plan. I believe I have the most comprehensive plan of any candidate. I'm the only one who said we need a second stimulus, and the way I'd pay for it is by using the unused TARP money, the money that we were using to bail out Wall Street, I want to use to invest in Main Street. Unemployment, mm -hmm. Fall River, New Bedford, among the highest, yeah. not only in Massachusetts, but in the country. Yeah. It's a huge problem, of course, nationally. What are the answers? How could you create jobs if you were elected? Well, I think that that's part of what the federal government should be doing. I, I, right now, I, I actually, I, I am adamant the fact that the federal government has to take dramatic action to create jobs in this country. Uh, it, it, again, we've saved a lot of jobs, and saving a job is critically important, and we need to continue doing that as well. But we can't just sit back and pretend the economy is going to fix itself. It won't. The federal government has to take action, and they have to direct that action towards the areas where unemployment is the worst for pretty obvious reasons. Fall River, New Bedford are amongst the highest. They're not the only ones. There are other pockets in the state as well. There are actually pockets within Boston. You know, different neighborhoods have very high uh, unemployment as well. But at the same time, if we don't do it, who's going to do it? Private enterprise can't do it right now. They don't have access to the capital. They don't have access. They're not. They don't have faith in their own in their own markets as to whether they can sell their goods or their or their services. So without the federal government stepping up and doing this, it, it won't be done in the near future.